Assalamu alaikum. Greetings from Talent Upskill, Class 6 English Version Math Exercise 2.2. Question number 10. In a school, there are 800 students at the beginning of the year. If 5% new students get admitted, then what is the number of students at present? 5% of 800 will be new students, and we have to find out number of students at present total students total students before new admission how many 800 number of new students new students equals to 5% of total students that is 5% of 800 equals to what is 5% of 800 we know 800 multiply 5 by 100 now simplify double zero double zero gone 5 into 8 equals to 40 so new students is 40. So what is the number of students at present? Number of students at present equals to 800 plus 40. equals to 840 that is the answer question number 11 in a class 5% students were absent out of 200 students how many students were present so total students in class were 200 and 5% of 200 were absent this is very easy so absent students if we know the number of absent students, we can find out how many students were present. So absent students equals to 5% of 200. 5% of 200 equals to 200 multiply 5% equals to 200 multiply 5 by 100 now we, we simplify double zero double zero gone 5 into 2 is 10 so absent students are 10 now we can find out present students present students will be 200 minus 10 if we deduct 10 from 200 we get the students present the so total students minus absent students equals to 200 minus 10 equals to 190 and that is the number of present students and that is the answer question number 12 Jahid buying a book at 10% commission gave Taka 180 to shopkeeper what is the actual price of the book here actual price means the price written on the book if this was the book the price written here this price is actual price let actual price equals to 100 taka so commission Commission equals to 10% of 
hundred taka means hundred multiply ten percent hundred into ten percent means one hundred multiply ten by hundred equals to if we simplify hundred hundred gone it is ten so commission ten when actual price is hundred shopkeeper gets hundred minus ten equals to ninety taka if shopkeeper gets 180 taka how much is the actual price and we do it using unitary method shopkeeper gets 90 taka so we can say if shopkeeper gets 90 taka then actual price is 100 taka If shopkeeper gets one taka, actual price is it will be less. So hundred divided by ninety. Ninety will come down taka. If shopkeeper gets one eighty taka, then actual price. 100 it will be more so the value will increase so 100 multiply 180 by 90 if we simplify divide both by 90 it will be 2 and this will be 1 equals to 100 multiply 2 means 200 it is always unit is taka so it will be 200 taka and that is the answer thank you very much if you have any question please write in the comment box thank you